All right, guys, at the gym now. As you know, it's Monday, International Chess Day, uh, as always. But hey, so I was just thinking, tomorrow's July 1st. Actually, July 1st is today, technically, because that's when you'll be watching this. But I think I want to try vlogging every day for one month. Uh, I've never done it. I think I said I was going to do it last November. I may have made it a day in, and I was like, yeah, crap, I forgot to post a vlog. So I'm going to try it. July, I mean, you know, a lot of kids are on summer right now, so everyone's like, yeah, it's summer, I can watch you empty vlog, so I'm going to try it. All, and I'm taking a two-week vacation, so I'm going to be down the vineyard. I'm obviously going to vlog every day down the vineyard, so those I'm automatically going to do. I'm out of breath, sorry. But I want to do it. So today is July 1st. Technically, it's the June 30th, but when you, whatever, you get it. So July 1st, this is the first vlog you're going to get a whole month's worth. I'm kind of excited to try it. Um, if you, if, if you die from boredom, um, I'm not responsible. I will have waivers. Just leave your address and I'll send you the waiver. That way you have to sign the waiver. That way if you do die from boredom, I'm not held responsible. But here we go. Yo, Auntie, first month of everyday vlogging. And then from there, we'll see where it goes. Maybe I do August, all of August. That's a big commitment. Let me get through one month every day. Um, like I said, I got the two week vacation coming so I can post I can go do random crap all day. But the tough part is I work, you know, 40 hours a week. So a lot of the, I'm a, I'm a very scheduled person. So a lot of days I'm just kind of like, uh, I wake up, I go to work, I eat food, I come to the gym, I go home. So you may get some vlogs that are very similar, but whatever. I'll try to talk about random crap. That's fun. Because it's fun to do bad things. The Tyrion Milton classic YouTube clip. Look it up. Uh, okay. Let's go. I make it a vanilla cone. I went all weekend. No vanilla cone. What a sad, I got a McFlurry though, so I'm gonna get a vanilla cone. All right guys, I'm at Target right now and uh, just saw this all over print, um, anchor print polo. Pop the collar for that extra cockiness. This just screams, this is so just vineyard, DiCaprio, friggin' Wolf of Wall Street, just so cocky, but how can you not love that? Look at that. Man, this is gonna be tempting. I gotta grab some mac and cheese and stuff. But I saw this little bad boy. I don't know. Might, this is it's gonna be tempting. This is gonna be very tempting here. Look at this thing. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So I think I want that polo, but I think I'm gonna wait a sec because I gotta focus on grocery shopping. It's getting late. It's already nine at night. I gotta get back and uh, make my mac and cheese. So. I'm gonna grab some gummy worms though. Gummy worms for a buck. Gotta love that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna come back. There's a few other things I saw I'd like to put. That polo is necessary for the vineyard, but I just don't have time to. I mean, I could grab it. No, that's not time. I wanna. F I gotta focus. What? Crush grape Twizzlers? Really? Like really? Those look amazing. Grape candy, very underrated. Oh, gummy bears. Man, all this candy looks so good. I'm gonna have to go to the dentist soon. Watermelon slices. Alright. I gotta I gotta focus on the real necessities here. Alright, gotta grab the gallon. The gallon of skill milk there. Got some uh, cheddar cheese, sandwich crackers, yogurt. Had to uh, always stocking up on mac and cheese, bananas every day, always, watermelon slices, and gummy worms. Um as you guys know. <clears throat> um, I've got the quietest target in the world, so everyone can always hear me when I vlog in here, but that's something I'm trying to do is get better at vlogging in public without looking like a complete weirdo, so I'm really working on that for you guys. Vlog in public, don't care what everyone else thinks, do it for the vlog, you gotta remember that, because I know some people aren't, you know, I feel bad f filming other people because some people aren't totally comfortable with being filmed, so whatever. This is our journey, me and you. Let's go. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Target is the greatest place on earth. I don't, I don't care what anyone says, I, I'd live here. If they let me move in, I would move in. I'd sleep in the little camping section. I need all the candy and the food. Target is, is, is GOAT, greatest of all time. It really is. I could also spend $1 million each time I go in there. I could buy everything. One, my goal, my new goal in life, is to win the lottery and then spend it all at Target. 
Like, tell me that wouldn't be just totally epic. Like, tell me that wouldn't be the greatest news line ever. Man wins lottery, spends, spends lottery money, all of lottery money at Target. Man wins lottery, blows all the money at Target. Tell me that's not, that's my new life goal. Of course, that will not be achieved until I can, until I finish, where are my keys? Oh, until I finish my other life goals. You guys know I have a bunch of life goals. Um, first and foremost, you know, we, we've got to make this happen. I got to touch a penguin's head. I got to touch a penguin's head. That's goal number one. That's priority number one. Oh, it's freaking hot and muggy here. What the hell? That's priority number one. Touch a penguin's head. Let's get that out of the way. I think I said that I had another goal too. I, I always say I have a lot of goals in life. Some of them, not the smartest. I probably should set new goals other than trying to win the lottery and spend all the money at Target, but it's just what I want to do. Can't, can't deny the man what he wants to do. You know, if, if a man has dreams, the man has dreams. All right, I gotta go eat mac and cheese. It's past nine o'clock. Jesus. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, do I even, I don't even have time for vanilla cone. How depressing. It's past nine. That's the tough thing. I go to, because I go to the gym for so long. I spent so much time at the gym, going, doing target run. I don't get home till really late, so my stomach's feeling a little hungry. So I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to go home, make mac and cheese, and uh, watch a little, probably catch the end of the Red Sox game, Sports Center, all that fun stuff. There wasn't anything different, and there wasn't anything new. The third thing you notice about me is that I wasn't able to claim my journey for fear of failure. And that fear made me the living, breathing, and the walking dead. I was paralyzed. Until one day, I'd finally had enough. All right, guys, so I just showed you a quick little clip there. Uh, that's Run Bima, also known as Brandon. Uh, he's a guy, he's involved in the sneaker community, but he's also, he's, he, I really want you guys to check him out. I'm going to try to get him more active on YouTube and uh, some other social media, so keep your eye out. I'm going to share a lot of information about him, but he just is, he's got a great passion for life. Uh, he's basically a, a journey claimer, and he just kind of exp uh, you know talks about his journey and, and how he became about and, and how he got motivated, and it, I just find a lot of, uh, it's, there's so much passion. I, I, I take a lot of inspiration from him, so uh, that's just, uh, it, I want to, on the vlogging channel too, I want to start um, collaborating with other people. Uh, other vloggers. Uh, there's a, a new uh, channel too um, called Samica and um, they are, it's a couple and they are originally from Chicago. They just had a baby uh, and I, it's funny because uh, it, it's funny how things trickle down. Uh, what my favorite vlogger, Shay Carl, he shouted them out and I subscribed to them right when they had a thousand subscribers. Now they're at 27,000. Their channel's growing. So I want to share uh, more vloggers on here. I always try to give sneaker shout outs, but I want to share more like people, more life people. So it was cool. Sam, the guy, uh, he's into sneakers. So we, I, I tweeted him. I'm like, Hey man, we we're just ch chatting about sneakers. And we've cut, we've, we became, if you will, internet friends where we can just kind of chat casually and stuff like that. So it's always fun. These, you, you know, you create these internet friends that turn into real friends and it's just kind of this wild little world. So stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to try to share, like I said, I, this channel is all for just trying to share as much as possible. And I don't know, so stay tuned for more information on other people other than you Aunt Dina's beard. All right, I got the mac and cheese working. Uh, I've been on the disabled list um, since ACL gate. I've, I've been trying to get back, but I've been on the DL. So hopefully, uh, I'm day to day right now. I'm day to day, slowly but surely it's getting better. But uh, potentially Friday or Saturday, I might be, you know, might be reactivated and back in the kitchen, uh, bringing you guys cooking with you, Auntie Part Two, potentially nachos or burgers. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go indulge in this mac and cheese. Look at that bowl. Okay. The king has arrived. Time to indulge. Soda, gummy worms, watermelons. Let's go. I'm gonna scarf this down. All right, actually. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna indulge. I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. 
Stay tuned, I'm vlogging every day for a month. I just did a really weird hand movement. <laughs> oh. Yo, shanties. I'll film you right now. Well, I, I love that Chantel's in the vlogs. She just doesn't want to be shown, I guess. Like, I have a feeling this isn't going to last long. I said I have a feeling this isn't going to last long, you being out of the vlogs. What? Make a deal with you. What's the deal? For every vlog I'm in, you have to do something I want. You can't show me right now because I'm out of my pajamas. I'm not showing you. I'm just muting the TV. Okay. You'll be in the vlogs before you know it. And now, have you... You, you just gotta ignore one? the comments. Don't read the comments. Why are you even reading the comments? Well, people say mean things to me all the time. I'm just like, oh, they're just kids. They don't know what... It, some people are just like that. You ever re seen the Jimmy Kimmel thing? Celebrities me read mean tweets? No. I'll show it to you. Then you won't feel as bad. Okay. Yeah? You've never seen that? I've seen it, but I've never read the tweet. Okay. To be continued... See you guys tomorrow. Peace.